It's your South Central Regional Forecast, and I'm meteorologist Susie Martin. Finally, the heat breaking for uh, many in Texas, at least not solidly into the triple digits in many cases, which is an improvement for areas like Dallas, for example. San Antonio is still roasting, though, with a high of 102 and ample amounts of 90-degree temperatures on the map, though plenty of sunshine throughout as we do still have a drier influx of air that's really limiting storm development, with the exception of New Mexico and into Colorado, where a few stronger thunderstorms cannot be ruled out. But for right now, we don't have any major storm systems to track and again the heat did break a little bit so that's an improvement but we're still feeling uh, the, certainly those dog days of summer as that trend continues here into this midweek but minimal opportunities for rain and thunder throughout the region though we are going to start to track a new disturbance developing in the plain states and this may be nicking areas like northwestern Kansas with some stronger thunderstorms as we look at our Wednesday outlook a marginal risk for severe weather for areas like Goodland for example into Hayes and Salina in uh, Kansas otherwise so again, another generally dry day. Unfortunately, we're going to start to see an uptick in our temperatures, though, as we're building back into those triple digits for areas like Dallas, 95 in Oklahoma City. And Thursday, really not looking a whole lot better. We do see some cooler temperatures, though, farther north into areas like Wichita, where the heat does break up to the 80s. But still lots of heat still present in the south. So the good news is that uh, we're good looking at generally storm-free conditions with a minimal threat of rain and thunder.